how to never get disrespected by women ever again. And I do mean that with this title. Like, I don't exaggerate with my titles. If you do this correctly, you are never going to get disrespected by women again. Okay. So uh, the way to do this, I'm going to explain what it is that you have to do to never get disrespected. I'm going to say how to do this in real life. Like what are the actual things to create this kind of environment so you're doing it? And the last thing, what can you do today to make it so that the next person you meet you don't get disrespected by. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing. How do you never get disrespected by a woman again? Okay, it's very simple. You have the ability to walk away. If you have the ability to walk away, you will not get disrespected. It's that simple, okay? People treat you how they can treat you. If you allow somebody to treat you a certain way, they will treat you a certain way. Most people are not bad people. There are plenty of bad people out there, but most of the time when people are bad, it's the you give them the conditions to be a bad person. And yes, there are plenty of bad women out there and they're a lot better at hiding it at first. So if you're someone who comes in and you allow somebody to treat you a certain way because they know no matter what they do, you're never going to leave, they will treat you badly. And this could happen to anybody. Anybody can get so horrifically disrespected that you're just sitting there with your hand in your head going, how the hell did this happen? And yes, I am talking about a certain celebrity named Johnny Depp. Look what happened to that dude. When he got with Amber Heard, he was literally the most desired male on the planet. And she was a nobody who had starred in Friday Night Lights, I think that was her starring role. She got with this guy, and the stuff you heard in this testimony, the, the arguments, I don't know if any of you guys have heard it, but like, oh my goodness. Like, I, it's, it's unbelievable the things you've heard that are coming out of her mouth. And she didn't just do this to, to Depp. She did it to Elon. I've read Elon's biography and it's like, it's, 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 a, it's so incredible to see the most powerful men and the most desired men in the world getting treated by this particular person because of, uh, well, only they can answer that question. Okay. But needless to say, they knew, or she knew rather, that they weren't gonna leave. And that's how she felt the ability that she could do that. I mean, she treated Johnny like that for years, dude, and the guy never left. Do you think she's gonna stop? Probably not. So when you're someone who's in this position, it doesn't matter how rich you are, it doesn't matter how famous you get, it doesn't even matter to a certain extent how like good your game is. This can happen to you. And there are a few, there are a few ways that a lot of guys think is, is the way to, that way you can do this. A lot of people think the ability to walk away is determined by the options that you have. Well, clearly, options don't mean jack shit when it comes to the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case. You think Johnny Depp didn't have options? <laughs> And I know this in my own life. There have been times where I've been disrespected by women and I'm like scratching my head. I'm like, wait a minute, I can go out tomorrow and get a new girl and I'm letting this person treat me this way. Here's what usually happens with guys, okay? It's usually early on when they get an especially attractive woman, a woman they normally wouldn't be able to get, a woman that if they left, they're like, oh my God, it took me this long to get a girl like this. How am I ever gonna find someone like this again? right? Maybe it's their exact type. Maybe they're super picky about that. Maybe the girl's just smoking drop dead gorgeous. Or maybe she's done certain things around. Sometimes these women come in, so, and Amber Heard was a classic example of this. They do like incredibly special things that nobody else has done for them. Um, I think for Elon, you know, in his biography, they wrote that Amber Heard dressed up in this incredible skin tight costume from his favorite video game. And she just surprised him at like some event dressed like that. And then she acted like the character, like that's not something that most women would do but Amber did it. And you can bet your ass that Elon's dick was just like, he was ready to go. He's like, dude, you cannot leave this woman. <laughs> and I'm sure she did that exact same thing to Johnny. Okay. So what does it take to actually be able to walk away from women like this? Okay. I'm saying from my own personal experience, when I dated a particular woman who was like, dude, she was like my exact physical type, See, the way she would talk, the things that she could do, how charismatic she could be. I was like, dude, how am I going to find a woman like this? Like I, this is kind of early on in my development. And I was like, if I leave this person, I know how long it's going to take for me to find someone like her. And I'm, I'm not sure if I can do it. So there was a, there was some self doubt in there that's preventing me from moving on to the next person. Okay. So that's the first thing, eliminating self doubt. 
Okay. The second thing though, is you, you are going to be alone for a while. And I knew this, I knew in my heart of hearts, could I find someone like this again? Yes. I know I could find someone like this again, but I'm going to be alone for a while because it's going to take me a long time for me to meet someone who's like this person. And I knew the pain of leaving a relationship. It hurts. It's not fun. It sucks. And especially what's with a person that you find so damn attractive that like you're weak. And if she wants you back, you just, you know, you're going to come crawling back to her. So what you have to be able to do is rely on yourself. Take the women out of it. Take the woman out of it. Whatever she gives you, you have to be able to have a lifestyle that can be comparable to that. If the woman is the primary focus of your life, which I'll be honest with you, it was at that time. Getting girls was like the ultimate thing for me. That's all I did. I wanted to become a dating coach other than jujitsu and working out. This was all I freaking did. So when I got that person, I was so head over heels and like I thought I'd made it that I couldn't bear to leave. Couldn't barely, because I knew I was going to be alone for a while. And I knew like to find that person again, my God, it was it's going to take me, it took me years to find this person. So what I had to learn to be able to do, and what you have to learn to be able to do is literally be okay being alone, being by yourself. It's not going to be as good potentially, but it can still be pretty good. If she comes into your life and your life's already freaking amazing, which by the way, my life was. She comes into your life and it's like a compliment to it. You're like, I already got a bunch of awesome things going on. I'm excited to wake up in the morning and get to my business or I'm get to my career. I'm excited to do my hobbies, which is, you know, compete in jujitsu and hang out with my buddies, um, pick up other girls as well too, which is what I was doing. I enjoyed all of that stuff. I was making memories all the time. I was traveling. There were so many great things going on with my life that I was excited about that when she came in, it was almost like, eh, it's nice, but you know, like my life's awesome. That is how you have, you have to get back to that point. Cause typically what happens, what happened to me is that when that person came in, I stopped doing all of that stuff. I got lazy. <laughs> and then she becomes the primary focus and then you can't walk away anymore. So if you're in this position, maybe you're dating a woman who's disrespecting you, or maybe you're single right now and you can't even get the woman in the first place and you're disrespected by women who you're trying to get, make sure that you put the focus back on you. Put yourself first, homie. Create that life that you want to be. Take all the women out. What are you going to put in there that's going to make it good? And then also to allocate time so you can meet new women as well. So we talk about in this program, uh, like how to generate a lifestyle. I work on this with every single person I work with. You got to have a lifestyle that fulfills you, but it's also built so you can meet new people, potentially new women to date. Okay. Cause it doesn't matter if you build that lifestyle, if you're not meeting anybody. Right. Okay. So the first step to start building this, this is my opinion. Number one, start hanging out with your guy friends. Okay. I have a lot of female friends too that I hang out with that are really helpful in these, in these, uh, situations. And even they, <laughs> women are pretty good. They know when some, some woman is uh, being totally disrespectful to you when she's lying, when she's playing you, you know, women have that sixth sense. It's nice to have a female friend in there. Okay. But definitely have male friends, guys that you hang out with and you spend time with regularly. Okay. I recommend actually two times out of the week that you hang out with these people. Number two is have a career. If your career ain't the most important thing in your life, then you got to pick a different career. Number three, make sure that you have a routine that you can wake up to and feel fulfilled with, that you enjoy little things, even playing. If you enjoy playing video games, allocating some time for that so you enjoy it, right? These are just things that make you happy, right? Hobbies, all right? And have some that you actually like, you know, you're getting out of the house for too. All right. Those three things together, you make sure you're doing them every single week. And I guarantee you, you're going to be less reliant on the women you're with. And you're going to have more of the ability to walk away. Your male friends, they're going to be there for you. They got your back. Okay. You talk with them every week. And if some disrespect is going on, you think your homies are going to like motivate you to put up with that shit? Uh, uh. They got your back. You think she doesn't have her female friends getting her back? You could have the same thing. Okay. Same, and then with hobbies too, something to look forward to, something to get better at. Okay. 
And the third thing, finally, is that career, okay? That's your bedrock. That's where a man gives value to the world is their career. And so that's what you gotta create too. So if you're getting fulfilled from all of those three things, dude, you're gonna have the ability to walk away just fine. We make sure that we establish those things. Oh, and the final thing, the fourth thing is like, you know, in the future, if you are single, if you, if you are single, you need to have an, a, you know, a weekly schedule of meeting the kinds of women that you wanna meet, okay? And developing the ability to be attractive to, the, to those women. I talk about this all the time on my channel, okay? But if you haven't written down those things, satisfy those four things, write them down, figure out a plan for them, that is how you're gonna be able to do it. So on this, video right now, just start to think about ways that you could start doing that. In my own life, I got my male friends. Dude, I even got like a house full of entrepreneurs and roommates, badass dudes that no matter what happens with me and my girl, they got my back. Number two, I got hobbies, I got jujitsu, things that I'm getting better at. Number three, I got a career that is fulfilling me. I love waking up and doing this every single day. This is my life's calling. This is what I was born to do to create content and help you guys and walk guys through with mentorship programs, coach guys personally through this process, get out there, host events, do the things that I love doing, okay? So I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to do this, all right? All of this stuff is paramount. If you slack on these things, I guarantee you, you will walk into a relationship where you're going to get disrespected or at least going to lose yourself in it. So make sure that you do those things, you guys. And if you need help creating this lifestyle, if you need help making sure that no women disrespects you in the future or actually being attractive to women that you find attractive, getting the girls and meeting girls that you actually want to date, then go to this website. Link is down below. GetCoachedByLloyd.com. Book a free consultation call with me or a member of my team. We will see if you are a great fit. Thank you so much for watching and good luck out there, you guys.